Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. We are back and better than ever with the original Star Trek series, the greatest television show ever. We are talking about sampling with and without replacement. So let's get to it, shall we? You are going to consider a box containing three red, two blue, and one yellow marble marbles. I want to say marbles. If we sample two marbles, we can do this either. So we're going to draw two mar marbles. And by the way, who doesn't have a box at home with three red, two blue, and one yellow marbles? Of course you do. We can draw one of the marbles out of the box, put it back, and draw another. That's with replacement. We, we, we replace the first marble. Or we can draw the two marbles without replacement. We draw one marble out of the box, set it aside, and then draw another. So depending on which way the sample is taken, um, uh, has the, has a, have di uh, that would have a different effect on the probabilities. Um, for the first draw, the probabilities are going to remain the same because uh, they're the same. We, all, we start with the same number of red, blue, and yellow marbles. But the second draw, clearly there's one less marble in the box. If we uh, sample without replacement, we're going to, on the second draw, there's only going to be five marbles as you look at the denominators here. And the second draw with replacement, well, the denominator is still the same. Um, and then depending on the color that we're targeting, um, like if we draw a red marble, well, there used to be three in the box, and if we don't put that red marble back, well, then there's only two in the box. So clearly, this is going to affect the probabilities, um, because we'll be multiplying by different numbers. So you have to pay close attention as to whether sampling is done with, with or without replacement. So let's get to just a couple of examples. There's only two. Um, oh, here comes that box. A box contains three red, two blue, and one yellow marble. Find the probability of getting two different colors if replacement occurs. So two different colors. So methinks we're going to have to do um, a tree diagram. So let's go to the straight lines. And so we have three color choices. So I'll do three little stems, three little branches, I should say. It's a tree diagram, isn't it? Okay, and the possibilities would be red, uh, blue, or yellow. And then if we draw again, if replacement, we put it back. So we could have red, blue, or yellow, and that's going to be the same on down the line, red, blue, yellow, and red, blue, and yellow, okay? And then we just list the probabilities of, as we go. What's the probability of drawing a red marble? Well, that's going to be three out of six. We put the marble back. That's going to be three out of six. They're not going to change. Um, blue is going to be two out of six. And yellow is one out of six. And none of these are going to change because it's um, we are re replacing every time. Blue, uh, two out of six. Yellow, one out of six. Red, three out of six. Blue, two out of six. Yellow, one out of six. 3 out of 6, 2 out of 6, 1 out of 6. So how now we just need to go through and check off where we would have two different colors. Red, red, nope. Red, blue is two different ones. Red, yellow, two different ones. Blue, red, two different ones. Blue, yellow, two different colors. Yellow, red, two different colors. Yellow, blue, two different colors. So then we just follow the tree diagrams uh, and calculate the, uh, the probabilities. So red, blue would be, so let, let's, well, let's start off. Probability of two different colors, I'll say two diff. So that would be equal to three six times two six. Yes, plus 
3, 6 times 1, 6. And that's for uh, red, yellow. Then blue, red would be uh, 2, 6 times 3, 6. Plus, uh, let's see, blue, yellow, 2, 6 times 1, 6. That's a horrible plus sign. Times 1, 6. Plus, uh, okay, down to yellow. Yellow, red, 1, 6 times 3, 6. Luckily, all our denominators are going to be, they're all going to be 36. Not luckily, that's always going to happen. And then yellow, blue would be 1, 6 times 2, 6. And I'm hoping you could do that um, in your head, and that would turn out to be simplified 11 out of 18. So certainly better than half. Um, we would get two different colored marbles. Um, okay, so we're going to have a whole different story if replacement does not occur. So this would be without replacement. Let me get rid of that. And we'll do another tree diagram. Um, okay, and this tree diagram is going to look a little different. So one, two, three. I'll just do all the branches right away. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And on that last one, you're probably questioning something. So what are our choices? Red, uh, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. Red, blue, yellow. I suppose I could have erased before. So on the first draw, they're the same. Three out of six, two out of six, one out of six. Now the second draw, all of our denominators are going to be five because there's going to be one less marble. So I'm going to put all of those in as five, a denominator of five. Do you understand what I'm saying there? If I take out one marble out of a box that has six marbles and I do not put that marble back, then I'm going to have one less marble in the box. I'm going to have five. All right, so let's think about this. I draw a red marble. I don't replace it. There's five marbles left, and if I, draw, if I drew a red marble, then I don't have three anymore. I have two, okay? And then blue is going to be two, and yellow is going to be one. Um, so I draw a blue marble. I'll still have three red marbles. Now I'll only have one blue marble, and I'll have one yellow marble. Okay, down to yellow. If I draw a yellow marble, I'll have my three red marbles. I'll have two uh, blue marbles, and I'll have zero yellow marbles. And I was thinking, you might be thinking, well, why even put that branch? Uh, you don't have to. I, I, I mean, uh, but I, th I think you should because the probability is zero, okay? Um, and if you don't have any yellow marbles, some people might say that you've lost your marbles. Ha <laughs> ha! I know I have. All right. If replacement doesn't occur, so red, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, blue, yellow, yellow, red, yellow, blue. So here we go again. So we're going to have three out of six times two out of five for uh, red, blue. Red, yellow is going to be three out of six times one out of five plus, let's see, blue, red, two out of six times three out of five. Uh, blue, yellow, two out of the six times one out of five. And then down to the yellows would be yellow, red, one out of the six times three out of five. And then finally, yellow, blue, one out of six times two out of five. Denominator is 30. And we will say that that's equal to 25 out of 28. Now... And I didn't do this before, but we could have done it. Uh, oh, no, that's not 25 out of 28. What's the matter with me? That's 11 out of 15. The other way we could have done it is we could have, if, um, 
the probability, we asked for the probability of two different colors. We could have done one minus the probability of two of the same colors. And that would have saved us um, a whole lot of arithmetic to do because there's less um, of the same color than of different colors. Why one? Well, either the uh, two colors are the same or they are not. And those probabilities, those two, are complements. They must not add up to one another. So this would have been the more efficient way to do it. Okay, last example. A bag contains five red marbles and three blue marbles. Two marbles are drawn simultaneously from the bag. Determine the probability that at least one is red. Okay, so simultaneously, that means at the same time. Okay, so here I have two choices. I'm either going to have a red, oops, that's my line tool. I'm either, either going to have red or blue. And then if I draw again, same dealio, I'm going to have red, darn it, Becker, what's the matter with me? Back to the pen, red, blue. Let's see if I can do this freestyle. Ah, uh, not bad. Red or blue. Okay, so if I draw them at the same time, that's the same thing as... Um, without replacement, because if I'm taking two out, it's the same thing as drawing one, setting it aside, and then drawing another. Okay, so red, the first draw would be five out of eight, and then blue is three out of eight. Another thing about tree diagrams is if on the, on the same branches that came from the same point, the total of the probabilities must always be equal to one. Okay, so now we're going to have one less marble for the second marble. So our denominator is changing to 7. Okay, so if I draw a red, I'm going to have one less red, and it'll be 4. But I'll have the same number of blues, 3. If I draw a blue, I'll have the same number of reds and one less blue. So determine the probability that at least one is red. So that would be here. That's It has two, but it just says at least one is red. Um, so let's see. Red, red, blue, boom. Blue, red, boom, blue, blue. Okay. So I have a choice. Probability of at least one red. Okay, so that would be 5 out of 8 times 4 out of 7. Hopefully you're saying, Becker, you're going the long way. I am, but just to show, plus 5 out of 8 times 3 out of 7 plus 3 out of 8 times 5 out of 7, which is equal to 25 out of 28. The easier way would be equal to 1 minus the probability of blue, blue. Because this guy right here is the only, only outcome that does not have at least one red. This would be so much easier. So that would just be 1 minus 3 out of 8 times 2 out of 7. And if you do the arithmetic... Well, that would be equal to 25 out of 28 as well, I promise. Oops, that's a 28, 25 out of 28. Again, it's because those two events are complements. You either have at least one red or no reds, and all of those probabilities must add up to one. Hence, you can subtract um, the non-occurrence from what you're looking for. All right, that went longer than I thought. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's check back in with the Starship Enterprise on our way out. Let's check back in, see how they're doing. I'm sure it's great. And I have done all the damage I can do here, so I am 